Okay. I'm quite sure what's going on here. Okay, well, we're in a scrap heap by the looks of it. At least we're alive. Are we still in 2023? We're we back in 2027. Yeah. We're still in 2023, we're back in 2077. We're back in 2077. Does that mean we're back with our main character? We're back with V then? But V got shot in the head. Surely we can't be... Have we survived that? It looks like we have, you know? Okay, it's... Everything's a bit fuzzy, but we're crawling to safety, apparently. Um... Is that Dex? Does he change his mind? Does he want us alive now? I recognise him. Heavier than he looks. Now, Wasn't he uh, the Arasaka dude's exactly what you security guard? So less you and me figure that <gasps> out. He did. Arasaka-sama, Oto-sama no sasugai hao. I didn't kill his father. Help me. Quiet. What? Okay. So this guy's gone bad guy as well, though, has he? Okay. Time for a nice little drive. I've been sat in a bloody scrapyard for god knows how long. Of course I'm going to smell like crap. Oh, I passed out. Okay. Heavy storyline going on now, so I'm assuming that uh, T-Bug and Jackie are both dead. I'm now running solo, am I? Dex is now dead as well. Oh, we're back in. We're back up. That's rocket air hypo. There we go. Getting a bit of uh, normality back now. Oh. What the hell is he all about? Oh. Nice invisible gun. Why is this guy not losing any health? This is mad, this is. I'll just take out the bikes, really, rather than taking out the people, can't I? Got no health at all. Oh, there we go, I got him. Just in time. Like he was trying to dive onto the car there for a second. Oh, here does come one. He's got mantis blades. Oh, 
Come on, give me a chance to shoot this geezer. Oh, it's fine with squished him by the looks of it. Straight into a post. I'm going to rename him Pat. Postman Pat. Terrible joke, I apologise. God, we literally just got brought back to life and I've been in a terrible car accident again. Don't you dare faint again. We're not having a good time, are we? Keep your eyes open. Fuck. He dead. We both could be used medical attention. Do you know a reproduct whom you can trust? I know. Someone. We must get to Repadok. Quickly. Hector. Will. Fix. Us. Up. We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. Alright, alright. My Della main. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the service area. Come, pick me up. I need to get to Misty's Isadzerica. Front of Vix. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! Right, so we're alive again now then, apparently. Apparently being shot in the head is not a, uh, not the, the real difficult thing it used to be. Being shot in the head used to be a real disability for you, but now it seems like being shot in the head is just another one of those things that happen. Below the ear, though not too deep, there should be auxiliary neuro sockets between his lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit the vein by mistake, he will die. Indeed, as he will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. Okay, am I alive again? I passed out again, either way. I'm assuming we must survive this, otherwise the game would end. It'd be a pretty poor, low, slow, short game, wouldn't it, really? <laughs> So we must survive this in the long run. Right. Do we get to Vix okay? Be in one piece? Let's get him inside. I cannot hold it. There's the main. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty. Oh, we're not in a good uh, position right now, are we? Really? Precious it's tank. lots of uh, cutscenes and loading screens at the moment. Got to cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. But we're waking up a little bit. We're back in the city in Vic's place. How is he? 
slower on the men than you. He has a name, mate. Better every day. I'm alive. V, you in there? Ah, my head. How you feeling? I don't know, Vic. Here's a ring, but I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and I almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. Then I let it all out into a mic. And I realized it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then, <laughs> promise not to laugh. I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. So, I saw that. Strange. And I hated it. Hated everybody. Every inch. It was too real. Even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Hang on. You really? There's an actual terrorist in my head. Right now. That's right. Johnny Silverhand. At his crowning moment about 50 years ago. AHQ Bob. 44, actually. Heard of it? His doing. People say he was buried under the rubble. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. Never given me that look before, Vic. What is it? You uh don't got a lot of time left, kid. Say hey, what now? The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much life. A few weeks, tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness, gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just be gone. V, it's important you get all this. Don't believe an ounce of the horse shit coming from your mouth. Know why? Because it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Whatever's happening to me, there's a logical explanation. Gotta be. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? I have to die. I am going to die. That's what you're saying. Prove it. Deck shot you, right? The bullet damaged your chip slot and your brain. The biochip revived and short circuited you. It started uploading data into your head. As far as it was concerned, your brain was an empty vessel that needed to be filled by the engram it was carrying. Empty vessel? But I'm right here. All of this is me. The shard doesn't read, it writes. Headache of yours? It's the biochip rewiring your neural pathways, building new neural structures, doing away with the old. Okay. So the biochip we put in our head from the heist is trying to take over our brain, essentially, is what he's saying. A tumor that needs to be excised. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... Well, what the hell do I do? 
Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty? Well, this is not going well, is it? You're asking too much. So I'm assuming, based on what's gone on here. Come on, V. Let's get you home. So I'm assuming based on this, the rest of the game is going to be trying to save our life, I'm assuming. Based on what's happened here. It's the only logical sense to me at this point in time that the rest of the game will be just trying to save our own life. Right. That's fine. We can figure this out. We can figure this out. Get ourselves home. And then he died. And I thought I was gonna die. With him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here. Got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizines from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. I gotta lie down. Here, got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? <laughs> the bullet that killed me. Promise you'll try to get some sleep. You're lovely, Misty. Thanks. Good night, V. Sweet, peaceful dreams. Well, there we go, then. Out like a light. <laughs> 